Cancer. This is going to be an X reading. Look at that. That's your counterpart right there, Capricorn. And we're going to take a look at if your ex is likely to come back, okay? Let's see. This is for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. We're going to see if it's likely that your ex comes back. So God, please show me if it's likely that Cancer's ex will come back. Is it likely Cancer's ex? Please show me. Four of Wands there. Stability, marriage, union. Look at that, the sun card. That for me, the sun card is just an affirmation. All right, guys, let's see. Cancer's X. Is it likely that they'll come back? All right, this is you. And this is your, oh. Okay, that's your ex right now. This is where you guys are at currently. So you're needing to get balance out certain things in your life. I feel like you've taken on um, some different situations. Um, maybe you've just started something new that you're really concentrating on, and it's. And I feel like that's probably why the devil card was there because you're probably like really you know trying to get a business off the ground like really really working hard <clears throat> and so that is like you are grinding i feel like here and i feel like the other person is at a point where they want to um offer something solid stable but they're not quite there yet. And I'm sure you already know that because you guys are not together currently. But the Page of Pentacles is also a card of, you know, if they've done something wrong in the past, apologizing here. Okay, we have Earth Energy here, Capricorn, like I said. Um, so they, pop, they probably did something in the past that they want to, you know, make right, but they haven't, you know, come to grips with how to do it is what I see here. Okay, let's see what it is that you want. You just wanna see things clearly. You wanna know what it is that, that you need to do, how you're gonna move forward. You just don't want any fuzziness at all. You just want a clear path. You don't want feelings to get in the way. You don't wanna feel overly emotional. You know, you wanna see things for the way that they really are. And, and, you know, be able to maneuver as a result of that. What they want, they really want to say something to you. And I feel like that's why they haven't come towards you because they are somebody that is very, they really don't know how to be soft with their words. Not soft, but tactful. I feel like, and I feel like that's probably the reason why they haven't come towards you yet because they really don't know how to without being offensive because I feel like, you know, quite possibly in the past, they were very um, hurtful. And they probably, you know, said things like without even thinking about it because they were angry or irritated or whatever without giving a second thought to it here. And I feel like they want to come in and give you some clarity, but I don't, I don't think they're confident enough in themselves. Like they don't trust themselves. I feel like here and how they speak that you may take it the wrong way. What you need, look at me. I pulled this card from. I did this with another sign too. Um, temperance here, and that is balance basically two of pentacles is balance so now we have the major arcana card for balance um just being patient um and being able to be emotionally healthy um respond the way that you need to and you know not react because there's really there's a difference in reacting and responding um so being able to respond in the way that you need to, um, when you need to, you know, because having a high vibration is like, you know, when 
in, in any situation, now of course everybody loses their temper. Nobody's like, you know, perfect. But in general, just being able to handle yourself in a way that you can be proud of. Okay, and not let anyone else control how you respond here. The high with the temperance card. I want to say high priestess for some reason. I feel like with um I feel like you're very intuitive though. You're looking like right up at this five of swords. So I almost feel like your intuition is telling you this person is, is moving towards you what I feel. Look at that. <laughs> I said it so it had to come. High priestess. Hmm. I feel like you guys are um, communicating with each other. Not verbally, not physically. But I feel like there is an energy between the two of you because you're like you're almost you're almost in sync here. But this person is intuitive as well. But the thing is, they're not listening to their intuition because that is what they need to do. That is what they need to do here. Okay, is union likely? You know what? I should have just, when I saw the sun card and I said, yes, that's an affirmation for me, I should have just put the cards down and said, hey, Cancer, that's your read reading, that's your answer, okay? Yes. This, there's nothing else I can say about that. So I'm going to go ahead and pull a Divine Feminine Oracle card and an Angel Prayers card for you guys to close out this reading, okay? We have Catherine Labore, okay? And this is the patroness of miraculous healing. I am ready to heal. I am worthy of the miracles meant for me. Yes, yes. Open yourself up. Get balance. Raise your vibration and you will receive exactly what you deserve here. Okay, and that goes for the both of you, actually, everybody. All right, let's pull angel answer. I mean, angel prayer card. Spiritual support we have. Dear angels, I allow you to support me as I grow to become more spiritually aware. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. All right, Cancer, so that is a definite yes. Very, very, very likely. This person is coming back, okay? So this is for November 13th through the 20th, and I will be speaking with you soon.